Hello, my name is Eileen Lei Ocampo de Juan. I am an OFW. I work as a teacher in Vietnam and I would like to express our group's concern. We are 317 OFW Filipino teachers. The majority of us came home before the pandemic. We were not able to return because of the cancellations of our flight. We all have working permits, PRCs, and contract. And even our Vietnamese employers want us to return in Vietnam because they are having a hard time looking for a teacher to cover for their business or for their school. And last month, June, Ms. Marites Versosa personally delivered the letter to the Malacanang Palace addressed to President Duterte. However, every time we, we, we ask for an update about our request, the officer there would answer us that it's being forwarded to the following agency. But until now, we haven't received any call. So we sent email to the following agency or department like DOL, DFA, OWA, um, Embassy of Vietnam here in the Philippines because Philippine Embassy in Hanoi keeps telling us to coordinate here in our country for our request. Until now, we haven't received any replies to our email. In our letter, we explained and expressed humbly asking for our government to help us to be able to coordinate with Vietnam government. One is for our return, allowing us to allowing us to be considered as skilled workers in Vietnam and helping us to have a flight back to Vietnam. Teachers are willing to pay for the plane ticket and we are also willing to follow all the quarantine procedures in Vietnam. Because if we will undergo the agency, it's very expensive. It's around 70,000 pesos. Four to five months na po kaming walang trabaho. It means we are all financially drained. We are doing this request because Vietnam allowed Koreans, Chinese, and Japanese to return to Vietnam. These are workers. And it was done through government to government negotiation. We got this idea because it was also advised to us by a Vietnamese worker in their government. Sana lang po, mapakinggan kami, magkaroon kami ng kasagutan, naiintindihan po namin ang sitwasyon ng ating bansa. Sana lang naman po, mapakinggan kami because I think matag medyo matagal na rin po kami nagaantay ng kasagutan sa gobyerno natin. And we just want to be emotionally prepared for this situation. In lang po. Salamat. Hi, I'm Ellen. I'm from Iloilo. I have been working in Vietnam for a year and a half in a small center in Tuyan Quang City. On behalf of 300 Filipino teachers, I call for the attention of our beloved President Duterte to give us special flights and approval entry in Vietnam so that we could go back to work and help our families. Thank you. Hello, my name is Lady. I'm an English teacher at Levatan Primary School in Pong, Vietnam. I've been working in Vietnam for two years as an English teacher. I am here asking for help from our beloved president to help us to to work so that we can continue to support our family here in the Philippines. I wish that you could hear our favor. Thank you very much.